My dear sweet child, that's what I do. It's what I live for, to help unfortunate merfolk like herself. Poor souls with no one else to turn them to. I admit that in the past I'd been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me well a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways, repented, seen the light and made a switch. Two years. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And Ian lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely and depressed. Pathetic. Poor unfortunate souls, in pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl, and do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor unfortunate souls, so stout, so small. They come fucking to my cold and crying spells, as they please, and I help them. Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price. And I'm afraid I had to rake them across the coals. Oh, yes, I've had the odd complaint, but on the whole, I've been a sailor to those poor ones, Archinette souls. Now, here's the deal. I will make you a potion that will turn you into a human for three days. Got that? Three days. Now listen, this is important. Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to fall in love with you. That is, he's got to kiss you. Not just any kiss. The kiss of true love. If he does kiss you before the sun sets on the third day, you remain human permanently. But if he doesn't, you turn back into a mermaid, and you belong to me. No, Ariel, have we got a deal? If I become human, I'll never be with my father or sisters again. That's right. But you'll have your man. <laughs> Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, and there is one more thing. We haven't discussed the subject of payment. You can't get something for nothing, you know. But I don't hear I'm not asking much. Just a token, really a trifle. We'll never even miss it. What I want from you is... Your voice. My voice? You've got it, sweet cakes. No more talking, singing, zip. But without my voice... How can I have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the importance of the body language. Ha! The men up there are like a lot of blather. They think a girl who gossips is a poor. Ah, yet on land it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word and after all, dear, but as idle prattle for. Can I and I not all that impressed with conversation? To gentle and avoid it when they care. But they don't in swoon and form on a lady who's withdrawn. It's she all for tunnel gets a man. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman as I had a several day, but cost much. Just your voice, your poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross a bridge, my sweet, you've got to feel the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead and sign your scroll. Pass some chats and now I've got her boys. The boss is on a roll. This poor love, fortune and soul. Thank you all for joining me and listening to my rendition of Poor Unfortunate Souls. You guys are the best.